Hey guys, welcome to 2017 MCAT preparation. We're going to be looking at some solving quadratic questions. Now, if you haven't actually done uh, solving quadratics, there is a link in the description section for you guys just to have a look at some of the skills you need to solve the, the following types of questions. All right, so let's have a look at question number one. Um, we've got a toy cannon that fires a ball which follows this path where H is the height of the ball and X is the distance of the ball from the cannon. How far from the cannon does the ball hit the ground? Now, knowing how to actually answer this question, I mean, even if you don't know how to do it, do it it's like try and try and picture what's happening. Okay. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little um, cannon there. All right, that's my toy cannon there, uh, and it is basically firing a uh, a ball. So obviously, it's going to look in a shape of a parabola uh, because you know it goes up and comes down. So basically what they're asking you is, um, they're telling you that the height, uh, height of the ball is on the y-axis, and then x is the distance of the ball from the cannon itself. So now if you had done some parabolas before, uh, you know that uh, you're literally looking for x-intercepts, or in other words, if you think about it in algebraic terms, uh, when the ball hits the ground, height is equal to zero, right? And so we got to figure out what is x when height is zero. So if we take our quadratic, so we've got h is equal to negative x plus 1 multiplied by 3x minus 8. So we've got h equals to zero, and we're trying to figure out when this quadratic is going to equal to zero. Now, we've got two numbers that, uh, two numbers are multiplying by each other, and they're equal to zero, which means one of the numbers has to be zero. So the first thing is, you've either got x plus 1 equals to 0, or you have 3x minus 8 is equal to 0. Now you need to rearrange. So in the left-hand side's case, we've got x equals to negative 1, or 3x is equal to positive 8, and x is equal to 8 over 3. So we've actually got two answers here, but if we think about it, um, negative 1 is not actually possible because, well, negative 1, if you think about it, it's it's almost like if you were to look at the path of the uh, ball itself, negative 1 happens before the cannon. And so we kind of just say we ignore ignore x equals to negative 1 and our uh, actual answer. So solution is going to be solution uh, is x equals to 8 over 3 uh, and not not negative one all right sometimes I've seen people just kind of like they do this and then they just go uh, X can't be negative so they just write a little statement they just go X can't be negative in this case therefore X is equal to 8 over 3 that's something I've seen people do before as well cool that's it for this question we'll have a look at another type of question guys in the next slide all right, so what we have is a plan for a rectangular park is to be three meters longer than it's uh, what, and it is wide. The area of the bench is 54 meters squared. Find the width of the park. Now, I do apologize because um, I was in a rush to put uh, write this question, and I actually forgot that in the original question, uh, it, the variables will actually be given to you guys by the looks of it. Um, actually, it was given. I just didn't copy it properly. So you actually had x plus 3 there and x here. All right. Now, it actually tells you that the area is 54 meters squared, so that is 54 meters squared. So what we then have is we're trying to figure out, find the width of the park, so we're trying to figure out x. So what we do know is area of a rectangle is base times height equals area. Okay. So what we then have is x plus 3 multiplied by the height, well, in this case is the height we're going to be doing, multiplied by x is equal to area, which equals to 54 meters squared. Now, I have seen so many people do this types of questions, but one of the mistakes they do is right here. Um, sometimes they just write down that this is equal to x squared plus 3 uh, instead of uh, expanding it out properly. So remember that x is actually being multiplied by both terms. So we have x times x, which is going to be x squared, and then we've actually got x multiplied by positive 3, which is going to be plus 3x. And that is equal to 54. Okay, so when we rearrange this, 
we're going to get x squared plus 3x minus 54 equals to 0. So what we right now we have is we actually have a quadratic and we need to solve it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to factorize this quadratic. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 54. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 54. And the same two numbers, when you add it together, has to equal positive 3. Now, I'm assuming you know how to do this. So we've actually be looking, we'll be looking at 9 and negative 6. 9 and negative 6. Because 9 times negative 6 is negative 54. 9 plus negative 6 is positive 3. So the two values that we have is x plus 9 and x minus 6. So as usual, one of these brackets has to equal to 0. So we've got x plus 9 equals to 0. Or we have x minus 6 equals to 0. Now on the left-hand side's case, we've got x equals to negative 9. Or x is equal to positive 6. Now, in this particular question, once again, you've got to actually see whether your answers actually make sense. Can you actually have a negative value for the width of your rectangular park? You can't. So we're actually going to ignore x equals to negative 9, and we're going to say, we're going to write a little little statement, all right, nothing, nothing fancy. Width of park is uh, 6 meters. All right, and that's basically it for this type of question, guys. Uh, as usual, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below. Apart from that, thank you for watching.